mashed potato and cheese fatty. Hey, my doctor's been complaining about me, the way I eat, my cholesterol's gotten a little bit high. He tells me to eat more veggies. He ought to be happy today. We're gonna have taters. And for flavor, we're gonna throw in some cheese and wrap them in bacon. And that's gonna give us some awesome flavor. Let's lay some bacon down here. Make sure you overlap. I've got a one pound package here. Got five pieces reserved on the side. Now, gonna come in here, you can see I alternated the pieces as I put them down. Going to alternate them again. Started roughly in the center then going to work my way out. Bear with me please, I know this isn't so much fun to watch this part. There's four, now we've got the fifth piece. Now I've got some Bob Evans sour cream and chives mashed potatoes. Hey, you could certainly make your own mashed potatoes. I'm not a make a mashed potato kind of guy. Right now, what I'm going to try to do is just get this fairly proportional. Now, just want to make a little groove down these guys. Using, you can see that's what, maybe an inch? Just like so. I think that looks pretty good. And now I've got some slices of Havarti. I had a block, cut off the slices as you can see. Use your favorite cheese here. We're going to come up above the top of these mashed potatoes. I think that looks about right. Now I have the rest of them. We're going to come back in and cover this cheese up, seal it all up with more mashed potatoes. Now, if you use the Bob Evans, um, I did have to heat these up to get them to thicken up, right? If you just let them unthaw on the counter or something, they will be runny. So I had to heat them up, then you let them cool down where you can handle them. This little spatula thing, you can see it just sort of seals it all up. I've got a little bit more down here on this end down here than I wanted, so I'm going to try to bring some back up this way. Now, I think that's good enough, and I'm guessing that I won't be able to keep any potato from coming out. For the longest time I've wanted to make this, I couldn't figure out how to keep the potato coming out. I saw a video where some folks did it. I'm going to try it. Right. Then we're just going to come up, cover it all up this way, bring this side over like so. This is, sorry if you're getting too much hand there. Now we've got bacon, mashed potato, goodness. Now I'm going to try to cut this, or cut, tie this guy up. As, a, as you saw, there's mashed potato everywhere. So I'm going to try to seal it a little bit. And we got him all tied up. I'm going to cut some of these uh, loose ends off. Now the final step here, hit it up with some barbecue rub. I'm using the pork candy maple sugar bourbon. I'll tell you why I chose this one. The first two ingredients are sugar. We've already got all the salt we need from the bacon, and we salted those mashed potatoes, right? So if you're going to put a barbecue rub on, I would encourage you to pick one 
that doesn't have salt or minimal salt, I should say. You're not going to probably find one that doesn't have any salt. And there she is. One, not cooked yet, mashed potato, fatty. Get this guy on our pellet smoker, get the lid shut down, and I've got the temp on this A smoke set to 300 degrees. Hey, it's been 30 minutes, and our bacon's definitely not ready yet, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like. And you can see we're starting to get some awesome color in that bacon, but we got a ways to go. Let's get the lid down and keep smoking. Let's make a barbecue sauce. Three tablespoons apple cider vinegar, one quarter cup brown sugar, one half teaspoon each dried onion, black pepper, garlic. Oh yeah! One teaspoon smoked paprika. Now I want to come in just a pinch, just a pinch. Cayenne. That wasn't even an eighth of a teaspoon. Here one half cup of ketchup. And we need some honey. My brother bought me this bourbon infused honey. I'm going to put in a third of a cup. Now we're just going to get this on our smoker. There's our sauce. And then that's what our mashed potato fatty's looking like. It's been on here one hour. Let's get the lid back down on our pellet grill. Total time now is one hour, 30 minutes. It's time to put that barbecue glaze on this mashed tater fatty. Let's check our sauce here. Just stir it a little bit like so. It's a little thin, but I think that'll be okay. Easier than, easier than simmering, right? We could have simmered it on a pot. You can see our bacon starting to get a nice color. Right, you don't have to worry about it. the potatoes are done, right? So all we need to do is just get the bacon to the color we want it. Just paint a little layer of this barbecue sauce that we made on with the bourbon honey. Let's get that back side. I think what I'll do I'm going to try to turn it over. We'll glaze this side. And there's what it looks like up close after I just glazed it. Color starting to look good. We're going to get the lid down and finish cooking this guy. Two hours total. Let's have a look. And there she is. Two hours. All done. I think ready to get off this smoker. What do you think? There she is. Mashed potato fatty. I'm going to let this guy rest a while, right? But I've got all these strings. So I do want to take them off. Been resting about 10 minutes. I'm going to cut into it. And let's have a look together. Oh, look at that mashed potato cheesy goodness. Looks incredible. Let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> it's June, almost the end of June, and I think this is the best thing I've made all year. You get the smokiness. I guess those mashed potatoes just really soak up the smoke. I get the smokiness. Obviously, you get bacon, right? Cheesy? It's just, if you like mashed potatoes and bacon, this is absolutely the way to go. Hey, got two more videos right down below. Check them out.